Because how is moving careful? So, but, 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 but. Okay, I think Fee is laughing in my face right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be filming my fall TBR for you guys. So in case you don't know, I, for right now, I'm doing seasonal TBRs just because in the past, monthly TBRs have not really worked for me. And I've been, like, I've accumulated so many books, like physical books, that it's a little overwhelming to try and, like, read them every month and like try and get them done in that short of time so I decided to do seasonal ones because of the fact that it gives me a long period of time to read them but also read other things in between them and it's just like less pressure for me. Maybe someday I'll change I'll change back to monthly uh, TBRs but I don't know when that will be and that is okay. For this seasonal TBR I'm actually gonna be changing it up slightly. I asked five friends to recommend me five books to read this fall so I have their recommendations right here and then the rest of the books I will be picking from my TBR door. I think I'm gonna do 12 books again because I did 12 books for my summer TBR and I did pretty well for that one. I pretty much read almost all 12. I think I may like I don't I'm pre-filming this too so I don't know how well I did like finished wise but I know so far I've been doing pretty well with my TBR. So I decided to do 12 again, plus it gives me, I like that, like, using the big number because it gives me options so I can, like, inter, like, interchange, like, maybe I'm not feeling like, contemporary and maybe I have a fantasy on my TBR, it, like, helps me change out things and gives me options. So what I am going to do is I'm going to tell you the recommendations last just because it's fun and I'm, like, excited to show you what they have and I'm just going to pull for my TBR first. In case you're new, the way I do my TBRs is I put all of the physically owned books that I have not read on popsicle sticks and then I color coordinate them to represent the genre that they are and what I'll do is I'll close my eyes and I'll pull a stick out and then that will be that. To go over the colors quickly, blacks are series so if I pull a black I have to read the next book in that series. So. I think last TBR I pulled Harry Potter, so I think I was I had finished the second one, so once I had pulled that stick, I needed to read the third one, so I just continue on in the series. Reds are contemporaries. These purpley colors right here, uh, these like light purples, I added this color in. This is just like ebooks that I owned that I need to read. I think I only have like maybe one or two. I just added them in there because I had one book on there that I needed to read that I just haven't touched and I need to do that because I got it for a reason. Orange are thrillers. Blues are fantasy and technically sci-fi but I don't really own any sci-fi so for right now they're just fantasy. These light blues right here I just added this color as well. They're sequels. So if I maybe have like a duology and I have read the first book without a second book, I will color code them like this. Purples, like these dark purples, which I know it's kind of hard to tell between the blues and the purples, which I usually just differentiate by what's on the stick. These are just fiction. Pinks. Yeah. Pinks are arcs that I have received. And then I think think and then whites are classics and this light green are e arcs that I have that I need to finish or start and then yellows are just books that I've started but I haven't finished which I don't have a lot of those so that's good I did have another color I had a, a normal green in here that was supposed to represent my nonfictions, but I had so few of those that I just took them out for right now because I wanted to focus on like this stuff, like all my YA and like my fiction. And then I feel like once I dwindle this stuff down, I'm gonna start adding the nonfictions back in. Just for right now, it's like, these are just my top, top priority. All right, so I explained that. I'm gonna go ahead and start pooling and we shall see what I will be reading. All right, so I'm mixing up these so you see, and I'm gonna pull out 
this one. <laughs> All right, well, I pulled my only classic. I don't think I have this one unpacked yet, but it is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. <laughs> I would pull my only classic out for this season, which I feel it's fitting because it's a fall feeling book almost. So we'll see how I do with that one. <laughs> All right, next book, mixing them up. <sighs> okay, a fixie, and it is Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. I think she just changed her name because she got married, but this is just the name that I wrote, wrote on the stick. I can't remember what her married name is or changed name. I have no idea. I have this one still packed up as well, which of course I'll unpack these books once I go look for them and find them. But I'm excited to check this out. I originally got it because the storyline sounded interesting. It was like about Vikings and I was like, ooh, okay. I'm willing to check it out. I also got it signed at Y'all Fest last year when I met her, so that was pretty cool as well. So, definitely looking forward to this and adding some fantasy to my TBR. All right, next book. <laughs> Another fantasy, and it is How's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne Jones. Okay, so I got this from my friend Nikki from XO Nikki for my birthday. And I'm actually really excited because Howl's Moving Castle is one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies and I am excited to see how like different or similar the book is to the movie and stuff like that. So, should be interesting. Next one. Series. <laughs> this is fitting. Okay. So if you if you watched my summer haul, you saw me say that I needed to read this series and I said I was gonna wait because I was working through Harry Potter and I wanted to like focus on one big series at a time. Well fate has decided that that is a lie. And I will be reading Throne of Glass. <laughs> I actually already read Throne of Glass, but I don't remember everything that happens, so I might reread it, or I might move on to the second one, because I think I own the second one. So, I haven't decided yet what I want to do. I have to think on that. But, just now I'll be reading one of those two, either the first one or the second one. I don't know why I'm pulling all of this fantasy this, this season. That's so weird, but okay. All right, we're mixing this up. I'm literally mixing this up so you guys see I'm not like just pulling crap. All right. What is this? Another series. Fate, what are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay. <laughs> um, ah, okay, so I pulled the Three Dark Crown series. <laughs> Well, okay, so I already read the first one, which means I have to read the second one now. Which I can do for my library, because I don't think I own it. I don't own it. Yeah. Well, that'll be interesting. Again, keep pulling fantasy. Where's all my contemporary at? I have so many red sticks in here. Why am I pulling all of the fantasy? This makes no sense. Okay, okay. I think fate is laughing in my face right now. All right. another series are you kidding me <laughs> okay the series I pulled was the vampire kisses series by Ellen Schreiber I recently just reread the first one so I think what I'll do is reread I'll like move on to the second one in this my goal is to reread the series so I can read the last one because I've owned the last one I just haven't read it so that's why I put this in this in the in the jar because <laughs> I want to finish the series officially so yay still more fantasy okay what is next last stick Yeah. All right, the last stick I pulled was in Contemporary, and it is Exit Pursued by a Bear by E.K. Johnson. I think I bought this sometime this year, and it was something I was eyeing for a while, and I found it in a secondhand shop for really cheap, so I just decided to get it. Um, I'm excited to check it out because it deals with 
the topic of sexual assault so I'm interested to see how it is done in this story all right so those are all my TBR jar picks and then let me share with you <laughs> the friends and their picks that they uh, <laughs> recommended to me. So the first person I asked was Michelle from Michelle It's YA, and the book she recommended me was Autobiography by Christina Lauren. She loves this book, and so she recommended it to me as well. So that is one of the books I will be reading. The next person I asked was Haley from Haley Marie, and the book she recommended me was Piecing It Together by Renee Watson. I've heard really good things about Renee Watson but from Haley and then from Jessica from, from Jessica Nicole Dickerson so I'm interested to see like how I feel about her books and to see if I can love them too. The next person I asked was Sylvia from Wishful Comment and she recommended Cracked Up To Be by Courtney Summers. I recently just got this so I'm excited that she picked something that I owned and I read Sadie by Courtney Summers and I thought it was really I don't want to say I enjoyed it because the topic was really heavy and that's it's like I feel like it's not a topic like you can enjoy but I thought it was really good and written really well so I'm excited to see what she does in this story especially because it's been one I've been eyeing for a really long time so I'm excited to see what's up with it. The next person I asked was Teresa from Just Bookish Things and she recommended me Red, White, and Royal Boo by Casey McQuiston. <laughs> she recently read this and she's obsessing it. So she she's been wanting me to read it. And I told her, like, I can't, I will read it eventually, but like, I want to focus on the books that I have on my TBR. So then she chose this to be on my TBR. So I have to read it now. And the last person, but not least, person I asked was Nikki from Exo Nikki. And she recommended to me With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I tried reading The Poet X and I really did enjoy it but then I had to return it to the library and so I just haven't like borrowed it or picked it up since because life's just been really busy so I'm excited to see what she does with this one and maybe it will encourage me to finish the podex <laughs> if I can finish this one so those are all the books I will be reading this September in case you know don't know my my TBR is like my seasonal so this fall TBR will start in September and it will end in November and I feel like it's fitting that I just like pulled all these fantasy because of the fact that everybody recommended me contemporary reads and it's gonna be interesting but yeah. if you guys like the video go ahead and like it down below if you have any comments on any of the books I pulled or talked about please let me know in the comments down below if you think I should just reread Throne of Glass, let me know down below or if I should just move on to the second one. And if you guys are not good at commenting, I'm going to say leave me an emoji down below. I'm still in the idea for my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you guys want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You guys are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.